Eight hours. Eight hours. That's how long it might take you sometimes to get seen by a doctor in the emergency department in Victoria. Part of the reason is because people can't get care anywhere else. Maybe their family doctor is retired, or they go to a walk-in clinic and it's closed. Or they've gone to an urgent care center and they're told, sorry, we're full. And I feel so badly for those people that have no other option but to come to the emergency department. They're desperate. You're desperate. And an emergency department is a lousy place to get chronic care. And that's just a symptom. A symptom of the primary care crisis that is here now and that just keeps getting worse. Your health is like a bicycle wheel. When everything's rolling smoothly, you hardly notice all the working parts. Your healthcare system is like a bicycle wheel as well. It functions best with a spoke and hub model, and at its center is the family doctor. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. After I see you in the emergency department, I'm gonna tell you, follow up with your family doctor. You might come in for chest pain or belly pain, and I'll do my best to make sure it's not a life or limb threat. But if I can't figure out what's going on, I need you to see someone else that can keep asking you questions. If you're still having that pain, to turn over more stones and help figure out what's going on. What if you need a referral? Your doctor will send you to a specialist and you might get a consultation or have a procedure done but then they're gonna to wanna to send you back to someone that can see you over and over again for all your health needs. Family doctors are central to other healthcare members going around. But it's getting harder and harder to be that hub physician. To be the physician that's responsible, comprehensive, that will see you over time no matter what your health care issues are. I need help helping the government, instead of reducing the friction to make that center work more smoothly, they're adding more spokes. And that's not gonna work. Imagine a bicycle with all spokes and no axle. That's where a million of you in BC are right now. And that's terrible. Family doctors are the foundation of our healthcare system. Longitudinal primary care keeps citizens healthy. And a good family doctor makes it possible for all other doctors to do their job well. They are endangered and need our support. Great family doctors, they balance the needs of the individual and of the system. In medical school and beyond, we're taught to be good stewards and gatekeepers of the healthcare system. And I don't think that gets enough credit. With virtual only care these days, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing duplication of tests. I'm seeing, um, sometimes people being sent to the wrong hospital or the wrong specialist, and sometimes irrelevant steps in between, and that just adds costs. That just delays the right care. And these are costs that you and I are paying through our tax dollars right. that are opportunity costs because that money could be put towards keeping family doctors. Without family doctors, healthcare, I think, will become more fragmented, will become more expensive, and more difficult to access, especially for those people already struggling with mental health, with financial issues, with chronic conditions. You deserve better care. 
We all deserve better care and more efficient use of our health dollars, now more than ever. And you can help, you are helping. I'm an emergency physician and I support family doctors. Yeah. Physician morale is pretty low right now, to be honest. It's your support, your energy, your willingness to stand up and be here today that gives us the hope to carry on. Thank you. I bet you somebody in the crowd is counting how many times I say extraordinary, because that's all that's left. Extraordinary speakers, extraordinary community leaders, a, a, a great audience, extraordinary audience, and now, to deliver the message in a little bit different way, we're going to have the Raging Grannies come on up and tell us how it's done. For those of you that might have come a little bit late, there are doctors over on that side of the 